Not a lot of clumping. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. We can get away. Palm trees, beach views, we'll never take. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi. We in the shower. Y'all know how I look. The hair needs to be washed. The hair needs to be done. I don't have too much long talking for y'all. Today is another wash and go day. I have been loving my wash and go series and so have you guys. Thank you for all the love. It's actually encouraging me to keep on posting and keep on trying new combinations. Today we're trying curl mix. For the first time, I'm trying curl mix. And this video is in partnership with them for something really important for Women's Month. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys throughout my wash day. But let's get into it because, come on now. Come on now. So yeah, she's been neglected. She's She's been treated pretty poorly. Also gonna be trying a few of the tips that you guys have mentioned to me throughout this series, like, trying a wash and go in the shower even though it's kind of against who I am as a person we're gonna try it because y'all know I don't love being in the shower for too long and then we're also gonna set the curls under a dryer I don't have a diffuser maybe I will invest in one but I just have a hooded dryer for now so I'm gonna sit under there which I've been doing like 50% of the time but today I'm making time for that so let's just jump in I'm talking way too much let's turn this water on and get this Watch they going. like I just used a rinse out conditioner I didn't detangle obviously but my hair was <laughs> you guys saw it and you see it now like I know you can't feel it I know you can't feel it I know but let me tell you something it is very soft I would a thousand percent consider this a moisturizing shampoo like a thousand percent let's move on into the conditioner obviously applying it to my wet hair it's a very light scent. If you don't like strong scents, this would not bother you. And it's also a very light texture. I am so excited about this. The real test is gonna be how the stylers work on my hair, but this feels good. And the shampoo felt great. So, you know, sometimes you have to let a conditioner kind of sit on your hair before you feel a difference. If y'all know me, I've been doing this for a long time. Typically, with my hair especially, it takes a few minutes. It takes some time for the conditioner to really like show itself. But this is showing itself quite quickly. I was looking on Instagram and I realized that this is the same brand that makes 4c only and you guys know how much i love 4c only so it's also why i had high hopes because my hair really responded well to 4c only taking out some shed hairs this feels like one of those products that i keep in the shower to do quick wash days off camera because it's gonna work it's gonna work fast so the hair section off four sections and in the back this back quadrant is broken in half and I have not touched it with a brush yet. I've just been kind of working in the conditioner. This is a brush that I got from Curl Mix. So I actually haven't used a brush like this before, but I do have my handy dandy brush right there if I need it. Let's see what's gonna happen. First attempt. Y'all know I love to do vertical first. Okay. It's detangling. And this is a pretty big section. Don't mind the sound. I mentioned it a million times. My hair always sounds like this no matter what brush I use. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> because I did not know what to expect. But I figured how my hair was 
feeling while conditioning that it would be good but yeah this is it this is it and y'all seen it from the first pass this brush is a little more like it's moving a lot it's really movable and flexible and I don't know how I feel about that I don't really use brushes like that but <laughs> the hair is getting detangled is detangling hmm hmm yes let me come closer <laughs> let me come closer closer wow all right shout out to y'all it's giving it's giving going to put this in a twist and keep going it's one of those conditioners that feel as though it's penetrating my hair so it's not really heavy and thick like I like but the hair is soft and it feels like it went right into my strands because it's soft to the touch it feels really good and it was easy to detangle look at this yes healthy juicy all of that I am very impressed let me know in the comments if you've ever tried curl mix and if I'm just super late to the party so my hair is rinsed it feels amazing we are going to go in with the styler so I'm just going to put my hair up I put it in like a little bun so that it'll stay wet as long as possible We'll see how that works. And I'm starting on this back section. Step three, I think that's enough. We'll see, we'll see. That's about a quarter sized. So. It's very lightweight, but I think my hair could be wetter. So let me go. Why I needed to wet my entire face to do that, I don't know. But this definitely is soaking wet for real. Broke it into two just so y'all can see. All right, shiny, soft, not a lot of clumping. Let's add the gel and see what happens. This is what the gel looks like. Ooh, thick. I really like how all these products feel on my hair. Like, <laughs> it just feels so good. And my hair is responding really well to them. Could definitely use some more clumping. So they have a finishing mousse that is the last step. And a few of you guys have mentioned that to me. To try to put mousse at the end as opposed to before. So let me get that mousse and see what happens. That's probably way too much. I don't want to overdo it, but we're here now. I hope y'all can see. I know we can't make curls over here, but yes, this is what I was looking for. All right, let's get into it. Let's keep moving and do some more sections. But the mousse definitely did what I needed it to do. Perfect. Period. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. My hair really likes this mousse. I have a mirror in here. I'm going to keep going and come back when I'm closer to the finish line. So for this section, I didn't apply step three. I just went straight into the gel. And I think that my hair just clumped up so much faster and so much easier with the gel by itself. So I think I'm gonna keep doing that. And then I'm gonna apply the mousse on top because I think it just prefers this method with the products. So. I'm gonna keep doing it like this. And the curls, yes, yes. So I'm gonna keep doing it like this with just the gel and the mousse on top. 
Mm -hmm. This section looks really good. And this section usually isn't even that defined. So I am excited about this. Okay, last section. Um, gonna add some water. Been putting a little bit more gel per section. I think I finally found my rhythm. It's like two quarter size amounts. Run it through. And I've been doing like the praying method. Also smoothing. I'll add my mousse. So this is the hair soaking wet. I'm gonna go get under the dryer immediately. And I'll be back. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I feel like we definitely accomplished what we need to accomplish. I just, I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm gonna get under the dryer. I'm back and I am excited simply because of the hang time. Like, I haven't touched my hair. I haven't, like literally I sat under the dryer since y'all last saw me for about 40, 30 to 40 minutes and I had it mainly on high heat. I turned my head so the back would get dry and everything. So I feel like styling my hair in the shower and then getting directly under the hooded dryer played a huge part in the amount of hang time that I have because typically, you know, my hair is like up here for the most part. But anyways, I'm excited. What do y'all think? I mean, you guys have been watching this series. If you haven't, I have a playlist, my wash and go series, because I am falling in love with wash and goes after over 10 years of being natural. I'm definitely more of a twist out girl, but I've been falling in love with the ease and the quickness that I get from like actually washing and styling my hair and leaving the house same day. You know, I've been liking that. And this is what we have. I'm definitely gonna come back once I band it and like how it looks on day two with the fullness and everything. But for day one, impressed. I'm not gonna hold y'all, I am impressed. Just gonna shake my hair a bit since it is like 95% dry to see if I get a nice little, yeah, that is it. I'm hype, yes. Look at the curls. So I brought you guys another fire wash and go. I'll be back after I stretch it overnight, but I wanna talk about the purpose of today's video. It is Women's Month and Curl Mix and I are partnering to talk to you guys about an opportunity that I think some of you guys might be interested in. So women-owned businesses are underfunded. I'm sure we've all heard that before. Women get 1.9% of venture capital and black women get 0.03% percent of venture capital. I recently saw Sabrina Williams talking about this on TikTok, so this actually perfectly aligned because she was talking about her investing in companies and that's a big part of her retirement now that she's not playing tennis anymore. Venture capital investments in black funded businesses have dropped 45%. I'm sure that we all knew there was a rise when it came to the Black Lives Matter movement, when it came to supporting black owned businesses, but that has slowly but surely dwindled down because people are focused on other things. What is next, new and shiny. Although women owned businesses make up 39% of the economy, the math is not mathing. I know I'm giving you a lot of numbers right now, but I wanted to just share those things with you as to why we're making this video. So Kim, the owner of Curl Mix, is calling on you guys, all of us and myself included, to invest in Curl Mix and make a difference in the company. And ultimately, if she ends up selling in the future, you would get a piece of that as well. The starting investment is $250. So if there's something that is near and dear to you, if you are interested in investing, or if you just care about supporting a black woman owned business, this is your chance. So for more information on things that I didn't touch on, or if you wanna go ahead and become an investor, go to wefunder.com slash curlmakes. I will leave the link in the description box. Let me know in the comments if you do invest in any companies, if you feel comfortable sharing, of course. Okay guys, it's the same day. All I did was put a little headband, like one of those stretchy ones, and just push my hair back a little. I love the shape that I get from that but I feel like the definition was showing out, so I turned the camera back on because 
what's going on the shape and everything looks so good i'm trying to put my necklace on because i'm low-key in a rush but like i had to show y'all my hair because i feel like it just oh it looks so good hold on like come on come on good morning sunshines it's the next day it is the morning i'm getting ready to go to the gym but we gotta take our hair out and see what it's looking like let me make it a little bit brighter just so I can see my hair better because y'all know my hair is dark and it doesn't always show up on this camera. So I put my hair in three bands. I have a satin scrunchie back here and then two bands in the front. I'm really seeing the definition. And I mentioned before, I'm really falling in love with wash and goes for my hair. I feel like if you told me even two years ago, if you told me two years ago that I would be a wash and go girl, I would not. I would laugh in your face. I would laugh in your face because what? I still love my twist outs, but being able to just sit under the dryer, let my hair sit, get this little, let the curl set and be out. I didn't even stretch my hair last night before I went out and it looked really good and I felt really confident. Let's shake it out and get some shape. We're definitely going to have some more length today and it's like 65 degrees today in Miami which oh, is amazing. <laughs> I don't even know that we've dropped like below 50 this winter. It's just been not giving winter. Well, it's Miami, what do I expect? But it's 65 degrees today. So I'm actually gonna walk to the gym and I just can't wait because I never get to walk in 65 degree weather. My hair looks so good. Like, hold on, all this talking I'm doing, my hair looks phenomenal. Wow, if I had stretched it last night, like if I had had the time, to stretch it before I went out. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Let me, let me come close because I'm kind of going too far back. All right. Stop playing. Stop playing with my wash and go. Stop playing with my wash and go. I'm getting good at this. This looks really good. Do y'all see this? I didn't even do too much. I am excited. This looks so good. Ah! Okay, I'll leave all the appropriate links in the description box if you wanna check it out. And if you want to support Curl Mix for Women's Month, you can go ahead and do that too. Let them know that I sent you. I love the message. I love what they're trying to do and I truly, truly, truly support it. And the products work, which we're talking came here for. The products work. I mean, look at my hair. And if you've been watching all of my Wash & Go series, you know, this is a great, this is a great Wash & Go and I will definitely be revisiting these products. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up on your way out and I will see you in the next one. My hair looks so good. I'm talking.